bank money was all burnt in my house. I have no money anymore. I think Joe Biden should take his $700 and get back on the fucking plane and go home. That's what I think. Because $700 compared to all the millions he's giving to Ukraine. Why? We need it. That's why we don't understand why. We're citizens and we cannot get money. But if they're not citizens, they get gazillions of dollars from the USA. Where, where are, where's our government? Fix your house before you fix somebody. Man, guys, there are so many unanswered questions concerning this whole Maui fire in Hawaii. There are so, so, so many unanswered questions. This thing is so fishy. Something seriously conspiratorial is going on here. Oh, my Lord. You see the whole tinfoil hat thing where they call anyone the questions the powers that be they call you tinfoil hat conspiracy nut job going by that theory up to 90 percent of people right now should be tinfoil hats nut jobs because you can see this like in plain sight that something is going on something is definitely going on i don't know what it is but all i know is anyone the questions this thing gets censored and y'all know what happens when they start censoring people. They're trying to hide some. They're trying to hide. Just follow the money, people. I think one one of the elites or a certain group of the elites want that land. They want it. Your favorite philanthropist, Bill Gates, is going around buying farmland all over the world. Displacing farmers. Taking their lands. Just buying a bunch of farmland because he wants to control what you eat. I wouldn't put it past them. Probably the Open Society Foundation wants that land. Someone wants that land. I'm not saying anything. All I'm saying here is alleged. This is all alleged. I'm trying to get them to come for me. But what, what, what I'm seeing seems very, very fishy. Too fishy. Let's watch a couple of videos and see. Hawaii Electric, Hawaii Power announced today that they cut power to the lines six hours. Their stock is on a freaking tear. The reason the stock was on a tear is that they think the liabilities are going away. They cut the power in Maui. Wow. Six hours before the fire. Wow. Okay. I want everybody, we're going to have Dr. Sean Roland, hopefully get him on tomorrow. He was part of the air recovery. We've got Nolan out there. We've got a lot of people out there. This Maui thing, I'm telling you, there's something not right. There's something not right for wow. for three weeks. And here's the thing. They knew and authorities knew they cut the power three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So why are we just hearing it today? People understand. Hawaii wow. Electric. Wow, wow, wow. Fishy, fishy, fishy. This is this oh, this is fishy. Something is going on. And you're not allowed to question anything. You're not allowed to do it. Whenever you're not allowed to question something, that's when you should go and question it. Put your all into research and stuff. Follow the money. Who want that place? Why do they want to displace the people so bad? And who gave the order for the police to start blockading people in? Not letting them leave. Who caught, who caught the water? Why did they turn the water off? So people couldn't fight the fire. It almost seems like they were trying to make the situation as worse as it could get. This is this oh, is oh one love. You ought to see all the videos of the people of Maui and Lahaina sitting here greeting Joe Biden as his barricade rolls through their location. This is why I'm saying Hawaii just turned deep red. They saw this administration already allocate money to Ukraine while being forgotten about. And you know, classic Joe Biden always makes things about himself. As the people of Lahaina sat there and lost everything, Joe Biden starts talking about what he almost lost. His house, his wife, his kids, <laughs> his 67 vet as he laughs and says that. Mm. The people of Maui don't give a shit about what the fuck you almost lost. Joe does this every time. Mm. Do y'all remember what he said to one of the Gold Star wives from our soldiers coming back from Afghanistan after that debacle? I know what you're going through. My son also came home in a flag draped coffin, which is a fucking lie. But it wasn't that for me, one love. It was that he was falling asleep yesterday during the memorial there oh, in Hawaii. He deserved better. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Good old Uncle Joe, man. The gift that keeps on giving that man. Good old Uncle Joe. I say it. 
people are going to come out in droves this time to vote for Trump like like mad a lot of the states that were for the Democrats the last time they are going to go for Trump this time in force in full force because what's happened since Sleepy Joe took over man it's like it's sending everyone backwards we've regressed so far man now you have men beating up women in MMA because they are quote unquote trans unbelievable what's going on right now it's upside down world we're Don't living in a dystopian nightmare we're living in a dystopian nightmare if you were if someone that was let's say for example you went in a coma for whatever reason it just a year and a half two years ago and then you wake up now in present day 2023 man you'll feel like you just woke up in a mad max movie it's crazy but i'm getting lots of people that are responding to me saying eric we were involved in the paradise fire the campfire the malibu fires the, the the government won't do anything fema won't do anything the red cross won't do anything they all red cross they are literally a money-making scam they show up they do photo ops they yep. don't deliver the goods they dump the goods in the dump when it's all over with they don't deliver anything they come and they make money and they leave they sound good they have sound bites they have people quite frankly like the governor that must be paid off or something i don't know why would he tell people to give to the red cross when it, there's many many survivors from these other fires that are telling me that they didn't get anything from the red cross matter of fact they got bills from the red cross wow. they had their personal property confiscated by the red cross hey there's no red cross tents here every single person that i'm interviewing i'm asking him in those interviews were did you have you seen the red cross has who has anyone given something to you besides the local charities and the local people that are coming together the answer is a resounding no and to get money 700 bucks they have to go on the internet which we have no internet fill out this form fill out that form every survivor of these other fires i've wow. talked to says don't put your hope in these organizations nope Okay, so lesson don't learned, thank you. So now I'm telling you, don't you put your money in those organizations because they're not gonna do it. They're not They're not good stewards of that money. So put on your thinking cap before you give to somebody or an organization and don't believe the sound bites, don't believe the rhetoric. Listen to people that are on the ground, listen to survivors that have been in other fires. Do your research, be a good citizen, be a good steward. Don't be lazy. Do what you gotta do to get to the truth. We have to help each and other. I'm lots of people that are responding. That's what we have to do, we have to help each other. When has the government ever done anything worthwhile? Like Ronald Reagan says, the words you don't want to hear from anybody is, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. They make things worse. FEMA, are you joking? They are lounging in a five-star hotel or six-star hotel or whatever in Hawaii. Why are the people there supposedly there to help a wallowing away in misery? The FEMA staff are chilling. They are chilling. Look at this headline. FEMA officials are staying at a $1,000 a night luxury hotel in Maui. They're staying in a $1,000 a night luxury hotel. <laughs> Listen to this again. FEMA officials are staying at a $1,000 a night luxury hotel in Maui amid recovery efforts in Lahaina. They're lounging. They're just chilling. You see that? This is this is probably just there for photo op, just to show what they're doing something. They're not doing nothing. A thousand a night. Bungling U.S. government bureaucrats dispatched to the Maui disaster zone are shacked up in a thousand dollar a night luxury hotel on the Hawaiian island. The Daily Mail has uh, revealed. Officials from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, bracket FEMA, have been slammed by locals over their slow response to the devastating wildfire that have claimed at least 114 lives and left thousands of people homeless after their houses were scorched to the ground. But that has not stopped the on-the-fire agency from splashing taxpayers' cash to put up more than a thousand of his personnel at Four bank breaking resorts in Wale or Wailea after the deadliest wildfire in the US for more than a century that caused an estimated five billion damage. This, 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 this is crazy to me. This is crazy to me. A th oh, wow, a thousand of its personnel are staying in a thousand dollar a night luxury hotel. That's 
quick math. That's about that's about a million a night. That's about a million dollars a night. <laughs> wow, these people don't care about they, they don't care about you. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. A beachside resort are popular among the rich and famous and located about a 45 minute drive away from the uh, fire ravaged town of Lahaina. They, they're staying 45 minutes away. They're not even in the trenches with the people trying to help out. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look, look at this picture right here. They're just chilling. Just sipping cocktails, drinking wine, get, just kicking their feet up. Look at them. They're just chilling. Wow, look look at this look at this resort. See how beautiful this is. They're not just in a hotel, they're in a resort. Look at that. Look, 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 look this one right here. They're just chilling on their phones. Bruh. A thousand dollar a night. They're just lounging while people are out here suffering. Getting black longed. What? And Biden is sending them seven seven hundred dollar checks. Seven hundred. You're giving people peanuts in one of the most expensive places to live in the United States. That can't even buy coffee. <laughs> what? And they've given half a trillion to that Eastern European country in the corner that they're using as proxy to fight Russia. They've given they, almost half a trillion to that country. Tell me all this is not just some money laundering scheme going on with your government. They don't care about you. What? You don't need to hear it from me. A guy sitting in my attic talking shite. You don't need to hear this thing from me. You should know this by now. They don't give a... You think Joe Biden care about you? Like for real, come on now. You think Lindsey, Lindsey Graham care about you? You think Pocahontas, Elizabeth Warren cares about you? If you think they care about you, then probably you deserve what you get. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Joe Biden earned more criticism for being out of touch with Americans during his bumpy stop in Maui on Monday, including uh, scorn for providing measly $700 assistance checks. And you can't even get it like that. You have to apply forms and do this and do that. Trying to access the internet in a fire devastated area. Look, look, your people are suffering. Mr. President, listen to the people in Lahaina. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. They're just there for a photo op. That's what they're there for. Wherever it is, whenever they're going to a, to a devastated area like that, they make sure the camera is there in full HD 4K quality for photos. They, I can I can say this enough, man. They don't care about you. They don't. And any video that comes around criticizing these people gets censored. Someone wants that land. Someone wants that land. Follow the money. Someone wants that land. It's given half a trillion. Almost half a trillion. To a country people can't even point out on the map. They don't care about you. They don't care about us. We have to care about each other. Instead of giving all this, your hardened uh, money to the Red Cross or to FEMA, go directly and give it to the people. Give it to the people directly. This demon is over here talking about how they need to destroy Russia. Really? Really? It seems like every country that's trying to stand for themselves, they want to destroy. And they're talking about, oh, they're a threat to our national security. Oh, China now. Oh, the, the main war is, of, is, is with China. You've got bases. About a thousand bases around the whole world. In every continent. You're surrounding the whole world. These people, these neocons with this mindset. They, they believe the world is their birthright. That they own the earth. Right? That's what they believe. So let's like, see what, what what's going on right now in Niger. Niger is saying in Africa, like, look, you know, we're trying, we're going to take our own destiny into our own hands. We want these colonizers out of here. Colonizers just a euphemism for neocons. We want them out of here. They're stealing our resources. They're RAP in the land. 
they're they not going anywhere, man. France, the neocons in the US, like they're not going anywhere. They're trying to get their stooge in Africa to go go to war with Niger because they don't want to fight no direct conflict. It's like the it's like the, the the most evil genius plan. Get other Africans to fight other Africans on your behalf. You get them to kill each other on, on your behalf. While you go around, there's there's like like a, a tarmacs and um, in the middle of the jungle, in the Congo, in in a bunch of African countries over there, in the forest. You have runways in the middle of the forest where these huge cargo planes swarm in. They load it up full of gold, diamonds, resources, or whatever, and then they fly back out like clockwork. Up and down, up and down. Why do people, the locals are over there fighting each other? That's what's like what's going on right now in the that Eastern European country. Let's get Slavs to kill Slavs. Let's get them to fight each other. While we walk away with the loot. Let's get Africans to kill Africans while we walk away with the loot. This one over here is talking about they need to destroy Russia. Because they have it in their mind that one country shouldn't have that mass of a land. So they're trying to balkanize. They want to break it up. And so their billionaire friends, their trillionaire friends can have a peace. That's all what this is about here. And it's not going to work because <laughs> Russia is no joke. Let's listen to this, this demon, Mitt Romney. The single most important thing we can do to strengthen ourselves relative to China is to, is to see Russia defeated in Ukraine. Because their allies and, uh, and Russia being weakened weakens their ally China. I mean, so, uh, and, and by the way, uh, being able to, to take an amount which equals, what, about 5% of our military budget, uh, but actually less than 5% of our military budget each year to help the Ukrainians is about, about the best national defense spending I think we've ever done. We're losing no lives in Ukraine, and the Ukrainians are fighting heroically against Russia. If you don't know, no, now Ukraine is like one massive graveyard, man. That country doesn't exist no more. Supporting Ukraine against Russia is like supporting the ant to pick a, a fight with the boot. What do you think is going to happen? The ant's going to get crushed by the boot. Maybe because the truth is probably you don't care about the Ukrainians. You're just using that as an avenue to launder, you know. It's all about that. It's all about that. How much money does do one person need? You're happy. You're taking all this half a trillion now to this country. People don't even know about a couple of years ago. Why are your people suffering? Suffering over there in Hawaii. Giving them a 700 bucks? That's an insult. That has 1,500 nuclear weapons aimed at us. It's like, so we are, we're uh, diminishing and devastating the Russian military uh, You're for a, a very small amount of money relative to the, what we spend in the rest of defense. A half a trillion is, 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 is a... It's a little amount of money. These are the people. In, these are the people in power, y'all. These are the people that control America. Weakened <laughs> Russia is a good thing. It tells it tells China to rethink uh, their uh, territorial ambition. Uh, it tells Russia, perhaps most importantly, that the the Putin vision of uh, of reestablishing the the Russian Empire and and grabbing the old former Soviet republics. What are you talking that That's about? not something that's going to work. It is very much in in America's national interest. No. In our national interest to help Ukraine. And the no. best thing we can do for America <laughs> is to see people who have nuclear weapons aimed at us getting weaker. No. No. First off, no one's aiming nuclear weapons at you. Second of all, focus on your people. They need the money the most. They they this Romney or whatever, this, this, this you're just having a glimpse into the mind of this neocons, of this colonizers, of this bullies that want to rule the world they are the ones interested in world domination don't let them deceive you man 